Did y'all know that parenting is about 80% mindset and about 20% the tips and tricks? I truly believe that. I truly believe that it is more about our thinking and our perspective and our mindset as we you know navigate difficult things when it comes to parenting little ones um it's so helpful to have more awareness of what we're thinking um, in our minds during the most challenging parenting moments because that is where the gold is and i know that during tantrums i mean our our minds like to go um all over right and they like to tell us all these unhelpful things right like this is an emergency i need to fix this right away i need to get my child to stop crying it's my job to keep them happy all the time and i am failing i'm a bad parent i have a bad child man if they're like this now how are they gonna be in a couple years i mean we just we just go all over the place right we just <laughs> we you know our brains in stress right because that's what tantrums bring they bring a lot of stress and overwhelm and when we feel that right when we take those emotions on our brains like to tell us all these unhelpful things and so I really think that building more awareness around what we say to ourselves during these moments is so important because it colors how we respond in tantrums right you Usually the way that we're thinking is how we are going to respond so if we are thinking like I need to fix this this is an emergency I have a bad kid I'm doing a bad job well it's we're more likely gonna feel angry we're more likely going to go at it with force and get into all these power struggles our ego is gonna be um, all involved and hurt right so it's so important to think about our mindset okay because this will help us stay calm right and that is the point of this video is how to stay calm during tantrums well again it's 80 percent about our mindset during these moments and you know 20 percent tips and tricks what to say which i covered in my last episode um but a lot of it comes down to our mindset now really quick before we get into the mindset tricks that i have for you guys i just want to share with you that i have an upcoming live master class uh, on December 5th which is a Saturday and all the all the um, details will be in the description box but I wanted to be sure to share with you if you are struggling with tantrums struggling with ag aggressive behaviors and just your child you know being uh, emotionally dysregulated a lot of the times and you not feeling very confident in how to navigate it navigate it then this class is for you um, it's all about how to ride the wave practical tools tips and tricks for handling tantrums and aggressive behaviors like a pro. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to teach your child about emotional intelligence, how to really um, become their emotional coach. I'll also teach you, you know, ways to respond effectively um, during these times of, of tantrums and aggression, like how to best show up during these moments, and then how to begin teaching your child coping skills. So I'll kind of share with you where to start in this journey and, and really practical tips and practical games and activities that you can do with your child to begin to teach them emotional regulation. So it's going to be jam-packed full of information. There will also be a Q&A. Be sure to check out more information um, in the the description box if you're interested in attending this live let's get into the mindset tricks so mindset trick number one is I want you to get in the frame of mind to expect tantrums okay I know that there's a lot of talk about you know why tantrums happen and ways to prevent them and that is great right we always do want to be a proactive parent and we want to do our best you know to prevent tantrums but at the end of the day we can't prevent all of tantrums and tantrums are actually a healthy part of development it's actually a really good thing for your child to express their emotions and their feelings with you and so if we can come to just expect them like i expect my two little girls i have two little girls um two they're two and three i expect them to lose it at least once a day and if they don't i'm like what's wrong girl do we do 
Do I need to establish some limits and, and push again so you can just let it out? <laughs> Do we need to schedule a tantrum? Because it, I know that it's healthy, right? I'm walking in with the mindset that it's not about me. It doesn't mean I'm doing anything bad per se. You know, if you've ruled out all of the their needs, be you know their needs and all of that, then we can come at it like I expect this, this to happen, um, and it's okay. And the second thing is to remind yourself, like, these are their emotions, not mine. I think that is so important. I like to um, envision myself as I'm in a really windy sandstorm, <laughs> which is their emotions, right? And all of it is coming around me, but I can stay anchored, right? I can plant my feet on the ground and I can wait this out, right? These are their emotions. This is their sand, not mine. I just need to do what I need to do to ground myself through this, right? Because feelings come and go and these are theirs. I don't need to get sucked into this. This is not an emergency um, and that's okay. It's okay for them to express themselves, but I can have my own emotions, right? I can stay calm in this. I don't have to take on their feelings, right? Those feelings are not mine. That is so grounding and anchoring to remind yourself of that. Um, and the third mindset trick is um, to not take this as an insult to your parenting, right? It's so easy to take their tantrums personally and feel like we're doing something wrong. Now, you know, of course, you always want to go down the list of their needs, right? Are they hungry? Are they tired? <clears throat> Are they overstimulated? Are they bored? Do they want connection and attention from you? Like, you do want to kind of go down the list of, all right, let me make sure all their basic needs are being met. Um, but even then, right, even if, you know, we're, we're, we've struggled to meet a basic need, that's okay, right? That's just their way to communicate, hey, I have a need that needs to be met, and that's okay. I'm going to meet your need, but I'm not going to take it personal, right? This is, you know, a relational thing, and you're trying to tell me what you need. I like to always, too, remind myself that, you know, when our, when our little ones were babies, you know, it was okay for them to cry. We understood on a cognitive level, not that it didn't stress us out, right? But we understood that like, they're babies, they can't talk, they're, this is their way to express their needs, right? This is an instinct that they have and this is healthy, right? This is good, this means that they're expressing something to me and now I can help them. And then, you know, as they get older, they learn more skills and they're becoming a little bit more sophisticated and they're communicating with us. And I think we forget, like, they're still babies. <laughs> they're still babies. And it can be helpful for me to remind myself, like they're still babies, right? Even though they can talk a little bit more and they seem so sophisticated and even maybe the day before they were able to like communicate really well and we had just such a great smooth day, um, it still doesn't mean that it's gonna be perfect, right? And they're still babies. They are still babies and they need to cry and that's their way to communicate, right? Doesn't mean we're not gonna help them communicate. Doesn't mean that we're not gonna promote them using their words and solving problems and all that higher order thinking. Um, but it just means that we can remind ourselves and have some more compassion and hold some more space that they're still babies. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really easy to forget that. Just, yeah, that's the mantra for today. They're babies. They're two. Okay, they're three. They've only been on this earth for three years. Um, the other thing, other mindset trick is to remember again that tantrums are healthy tantrums release stress hormones you know our tears when we cry uh, we are releasing stress hormones which is a good thing we don't want them to hold this in and especially if your little one is going to school right or they're separated from you for for you know periods of time during the day they are working really hard during the day to keep it together right to hold it all in and make friends and play and live listen to the teacher or whoever, right? Um, and so it's not uncommon when kids get off of school or when they get, you know, reunited with you, um, that they want to release all those feelings to you because they've been holding it in all day and you're the trusted one. <laughs> they trust you with their feelings. So this is good. This process is good, right? We want them to share with us how they're feeling. I know. It's not always, you know, pleasant. It's it's not always stress-free. But if we can remind ourselves this is healthy 
it can fight back that you know thought in our brain that says no this needs to be stopped this needs to be fixed this is not good because it is good it is good it is good um, the other thing is minimize your words um, that's a mindset trick I think sometimes you know as adults we are so used to talking things out we are so used to using all this communication and trying to meet our child with logic when they're in this really heightened emotional state so it's less about your words minimize your words you know like if you haven't checked out my last video about what to say during tantrums check that video out you know pick one to two things to say during tantrums pick some one to two things to fall back on like mine is let it out and you can you know watch the video for more tips on that but I always say let it out let it out let it out okay my my words are simple and they're minimal and I'm just allowing them the space to you know express themselves right so keep your words minimal it'll decrease your uh, drive your pull your pull right your urge to con um, conceptualize things and meet them with lots of logic the other thing you want to do is focus inward on grounding okay so if you're starting to get frustrated if you're starting to feel like oh my god I want this to stop that's your cue to focus inward and center yourself ground yourself right if, if it's a mental picture um, like the one that I have about me being in the, <laughs> the emotional stand sandstorm whatever it is ground yourself remind yourself where you're at remind yourself of who you are and that you are able to handle this and you are strong and confident and competent and you are a mommy boss Whatever you need to tell yourself to get yourself back into the zone of I got this, okay? I got this, we got this, we gonna be just fine, okay? So focus inward on grounding. Whenever you start to, you know, imagine escaping, <laughs> imagine, you know, this being over, whatever it is, just channel your inner, your inner goddess, your inner, your inner grounded mommy. <laughs> Um, the other thing is trust the process okay and you can even tell tell yourself that I trust this process I trusted myself to handle this and show up in this moment um, and I trust my child to process their feelings out this is all healthy and I can trust this process remind yourself feelings come and go this is not gonna be forever and I'm okay I've got this <laughs> and the last thing is view it as an opportunity to connect um, with your child on a deeper level. How amazing would it be if you could tell yourself that instead of this being something I need to fix, instead of this being something I need to shut down and make it stop, I can say, you know what? No, bring it on. This is a chance for me to show up and connect with my child and be the mom that I want to be right and this is what I want them to remember I want them to remember just like how I remember when my mom would tell me Jazzy I love you when you're mad I love you when you're sad I love you when you're angry I love it when you, blah, 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 right I love you regardless of your feelings and I remember that as an adult right and that really helped me growing up right and so isn't that what we want our children to remember about us right we don't want to re them to remember that mommy used to lose it mommy used to tell me to stop crying right we want them to remember oh yeah like I remember feeling deeply connected with my mom and she never judged me for my feelings and in fact she loved me regardless of my feelings and I can show up for this right and so remind yourself these are opportunities to connect these are opportunities to show up um, and the more that you practice this, I know sometimes, we're, you know, not sometimes, but a lot of the times, especially now during all the things that are going on, um, we're going to be imperfect about this, right? We're not going to always show up as our best self. We're not always going to get this right, okay? Me, myself included. I don't always get this right. My mom didn't always get it right. She wasn't always perfect. But the more we practice it, um, the more it'll become just second nature, okay? So have a couple mantras. Again, check out the video I just filmed about what to say during tantrums. Have a couple mantras you fall back on, um, knowing that those are more for yourself than your child. Ooh, major key right it's more for my mindset and trusting the process than it really is about for you because you I know you're gonna do what you need to do to release your feelings I trust it it's just sometimes my adult brain needs some good reminders <laughs> so have your have your mantras on deck and then just just practice 
and, and forgive yourself when you don't get it right okay knowing that that's that's okay too right we're all human we are all imperfect and sometimes we get overwhelmed right and we fall back on old things and that's okay we can give ourselves compassion and then get right back up and try again just like we would encourage our child to do right if they made a mistake just just try again okay there's always next time um i hope this video was helpful for this episode if you're watching on the podcast um let me know your thoughts on this and again i ho really hope to see you in the upcoming class that i'll be having this saturday so we can do a deeper dive into these things and really learn ways to be our child's emotion emotion coach right or the, their emotional co coach through these storms that they go through how to teach them coping skills and how to show up um, and I will be ending with some Q&A so you guys can get your personal questions answered, of course. Um, so yeah, the descriptions will be down, uh, the link will be down below for more details about the uh, masterclass. And if you got any value from this episode, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know um, your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe um, to my channel so you don't miss any videos. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.